dangerous place. And if you want to hit the water, you've got to be safe. But I know how to swim, I'm safe. Ma'am, if you want to go into this pool, you're going to have to wear the proper safety equipment. I'm telling you, I don't need them. I'm comfortable in the water and I don't need floaties. I will be fine. Wow, I've never met anybody so reckless about safety. You're not afraid of anything, are you? I wouldn't say that. There are things that make me a little afraid, but rather than fear get to me, I give those fears to God. Who's God? <laughs> Who's God? He's God. Oh, who's Jesus? He's God's son. He loves me and he always watches over for me. So he's your swimming buddy. He's way more than that. <laughs> Jesus is with me wherever I go and he always watches over me. And you think this Jesus can protect you in the pool? Well, one time he walked on water and another time he calmed the storm. So yeah, I feel pretty safe. I can't argue with that, ma'am. You may swim without floaties at your own risk. Thanks. But like I said, I'm not afraid. Jesus is watching over me everywhere I go. Whistle. <laughs> okay. Just one moment, sister. Oh, it's you again. May I have a word with you? Well, you're the lifeguard. That's right, I am. And as a safety enforcement officer of a pool area, it is my duty to make sure no dangerous shenanigans are going on. I wasn't doing anything dangerous, was I? Well, let me see. You instigated a pool-wide game that involves a number of people splashing around, hiding from the swimmer with closed aisles, and while shouting out the name of a long-dead transcontinental explorer. You mean Marco Polo? That's the one. Come on, there's nothing dangerous about Marco Polo. Oh no? Suppose the person with his eyes shut wanders too far into the deep end. What if one of those fleeing from the blind swimmer bashes his head into the side of the pool? What if someone really truly gets lost and can't be found? Chuck, the pool is three feet deep. There's no deep end, and I doubt head injuries are major concerns either. As, as for being lost forever, how would that even happen? One can never be too sure. I would hate for anybody to, to be lost permanently. Well, Chuck, as you know, I believe in Jesus. Jesus is watching over all of us, and he has his eyes on everyone. No one is ever lost to Jesus because he is always seeking after us. So when Jesus plays Marco Polo, he plays with his eyes open? That sounds like cheating. Marco Polo is just a game. Jesus isn't playing games. He really is looking out for us and wants everyone to find him. I don't get it. Is he it, or is he one of the people that it has to be found? He's God's son, and everyone who wants to find him can. We're not talking about Marco Polo anymore, are we? No, Chuck. We're talking about something much more important. Sounds very important to me. Carry on with your game, but I'll be watching you. And, get, and I guess, so will Jesus? Yes, he will. Chuck, yes, he will. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. If they do this. One dollar. Yes. Hey, wait. What? I'm gonna talk to you. Can okay. I wait? I'm about to go down the slide. No, that's what I have to tell you. Why? Is the slide out, out of order or something? No, it's perfectly fine. It passed its safety inspection like 30 minutes ago. Then what's the matter? The matter is for your own personal safety. This water slide is not for the faint of heart. I know. It looks awesome. This water slide will start a height of 15 feet in the air. Really? That high? It will take you through three twists, a half gainer, a swiggle, swiggle swaggle, and then finally, a four foot punch into the chlorinated depths below. Sounds like a water slide. The staff here at Bushwood wish to remind you that all sliders slide at their own risk, and that Bushwood assumes no responsibility if you get sick or otherwise riding what we call old twisty. I promise not to be mad if I get sick. May I go now? You still want to ride it? Why not? I've had some wild adventures in my life. And I look forward to it. You must be brave. I don't know about that, but I am a Christian, and God has done some pretty wild and amazing things in my life. He has? You bet he has. I've been on mission trips at home and overseas. I've sung in praise dance, fed the homeless, led one of my good friends to Jesus, and I'm only just the beginning. Sounds like you have a real taste for adventure. With Jesus by my side, I'm up for anything, including the old twisty here. I guess so. Enjoy the ride. Believe me, I will. This Jesus sounds like my kind of guy. You can blow your whistle. Not blow whistle. Yeah.
Just a moment, sister. Again? Yes, again. As always, the safety staff here and here at Bushwood remains ever vigilant. This is your first time into the pool today. Yes, it is. Then I must insist you head the other direction and take the steps into the water. Why? Because you need to ease into the water. You need to enter one, one slow step at a time. But I don't want to ease in. I want to jump in. Why? Because that's why I roll, Chucko. Did you just call me Chucko? I don't want to ease into anything. I want to jump in. I want to dive. Why? Because that's how I do everything. Before you bring it up, let me guess. That's how you do things with Jesus, too. As a matter of fact, yes. You just dive in. Don't bother to get to know him first or find out if he's legit. I know he's legit because I did dive in. Jesus showed me that he had a plan for me. And I have new exciting adventures every day discovering that plan. What kind of plans does he have? Well, for one thing, I love me meeting new people and telling them Jesus loves them. Why? So they can know Jesus too. My hope is when I tell someone about Jesus, they get excited and want to dive in. Oh, I don't know about that. I would rather much just step into the water slowly. You don't know about what you're missing, Chuck. You should try to take a dive. You mean with Jesus or the pool? How about we start with the pool? Oh, I don't know about that. How about we dive in and then I'll buy you a slushie? That was your slushie? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go diving. Just one moment, sister. Oh my goodness. What did I do now? Are you the one I spot out there doing cannonballs? No, that wasn't me. I was planning I was planning to travel later, but I assume you're here to talk to me now. As a member of Bushwood's lifeguard team, I have to advise against it. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here because I just took a cannonball dive myself, and I don't mean in the pool. Then what do you mean? I dove in. I took a leap of faith. I went in. I went all in and made a big splash. So, are you telling me that you asked Jesus into your heart? My heart? I thought I was just supposed to invite him into my life. Oh, Chuck, I'm so happy for you. This is the greatest news ever. And I have to thank you for it. I'm not the one who saved you, Chuck. True, true, but if you had not dived in and been willing to swim with Jesus, I might not be here telling you that I am born again, baptized believer myself. I'm happy to hear that. Why did you decide to take the leap? I needed some adventure in my life. I wanted to have a purpose. But most of all, I realized I needed a savior. I am forgiven now, Caroline. Jesus has forgiven my sins, and now I am ready to give him the rest of my life. Sounds like a plan. What do you say we celebrate? How? Well, how about a dive? A cannonball dive? A cannonball? That's the craziest, wildest, most risky, most daring, most dangerous dive you can do. Count me in. Come on, Chuck. Let's take a dive. Let's make a big splash for Jesus.